Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you what you can do when you find a video that won't work in your video editing program. Let me show you what I mean. I've opened here Movie Studio 12 and I'm going to import some video. So I'll click Import Media. And on my videos library here, I've got a couple of videos that I want to import. And they're both AVI. You see this says Low Light AVI and this one says Studio A AVI. So let's load in the Studio A AVI first. Now normally you'd load them in at the same time, but I want to show you something here. So I click on the first one. It shows up here in my project media and I can drag it up on my timeline, put my mouse on it. You can see it looks the way it's supposed to look. Now let's go back and load in that other file. So we click project and then we click import media and we see the files right there, low light, AVI. We click open and we get an error. It says warning, an error occurred while opening one more files. An error occurred while opening a codec. Now we can click details. The message tells us the file could not be opened. Now you may be wondering, well, why could it open that first AVI and not open that second AVI? The problem is that some AVI files, especially files that have been downloaded from the web, won't be AVI files. They'll have an AVI extension, but typically they'll be DivX or XFID or some other highly compressed format that has an AVI wrapper around it. And those files aren't intended for editing, and to edit them, you'll have to convert them to either the true format and add a codec to your computer. So let me show you how do you find out what codec is needed to, to edit those files. First thing you want to do is to go to headbands.com slash gspot. This is where you're going to find the gspot detector. The gspot detector is free software that you can download that allow you to look at any video file and it'll tell you what codec is needed. When you get here, you want to go to this link right here, this version 2.70a, and click that link. Now, if you're using Windows, you want this version right here. So to download it, you click it. It downloads it to your computer. You notice that it's a zip file. So what you want to do is unzip that file. And when you do, you'll end up with four files. The good thing about Gspot, it doesn't really install anything on your program. It just runs from the standalone exe file. So once you've unzipped it, just click the Gspot exe and the program starts. Once the program is started, you can check the file just by moving over here to the path field, clicking the dots. That opens the browse, and we're going to see why this low light file that we chose earlier didn't work. So we click open. And the most important thing is right here, the codec required is DivX. So this is a DivX video, it's not really an AVI video. The good news is that it's easy to convert these files that won't work, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. But first, let me show you what the converted file will look like. So I've already converted files, so let's import it in here. So I'm click project, import media. And you notice that before I had low light, but now I have a low light MP4 version. That's the version I converted. So I click that, click open, bring that up on the timeline, and it works. It now works without generating any type of error at all. So let me show you how I converted that. To do the conversion, I used the free handbrake program. And I went in and I selected the source, click open file, chose the low light AVI that didn't work before, click open and then just ran it through a handbrake. And now, if you don't want to change it in settings, you can just click Start and run it as is. And then once you start it, it'll save it as an MP4 file, and you'll be able to open it just like we've done over here. If you don't already have handbrake, and you really should if you're doing any video editing at all, you can find handbrake at handbrake.fr. It's a completely free program. And you can download it and install it here. And if you don't know how to use Handbrake, be sure to check out my other videos where I show you how to use Handbrake to do everything from compressing your videos for web streaming to using them to convert DVDs to video files you can view on your computer. So anyway, if you find video files that you can't import into Sony Vegas or Sony Movie Studio, one of the things you can do is use the GSpot codec appliance to detect what code is needed, and then use Handbrake to convert that video file into an MP4 format that will run easily in any of your video editing programs. I thought you might be interested in this. I'm Bill Myers. You can find more like this at my website, www.bmyers.com.